Armistice Day, observed annually on the 11th of November, is also referred to as Veterans Day in the United States and Remembrance Day in the Commonwealth. It commemorates the signing of the armistice at 5.45 a.m. on the 11th of November in 1918 in Compiègne, France, between Germany and the Allies. The fighting stopped on the Western Front of World War I at 11 o'clock in the morning, which was the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918. France has designated this day as a national holiday and many other allies have done the same. However, many Western countries and affiliated nations have since altered the name of the event from Armistice Day to something else such as Remembrance Day in Commonwealth of Nations countries and Veterans Day in the US. The inaugural Armistice Day commemoration was held at Buckingham Palace, commencing with King George V hosting a banquet in honor of the President of the French Republic during the evening hours of 10th November 1919. This is the Sunday Show. The initial Authorized Armistice Day gatherings took place on the premises of Buckingham Palace on the 11th of November 1919 in the early hours of the day. These gatherings commenced with a two-minute silence observed as a gesture of reverence for the fallen and those displaced during the war. One important custom that has fallen on Armistice Day and Remembrance Sunday at 11 a.m., which corresponds with the moment the First World War ended in 1918, is the two-minute silence. Cape Town, South Africa, is where the Remembrance Day silence tradition first emerged. Thanking those who made it back alive takes up the first minute of the silence while remembering the fallen takes up the second. Sir Harry Hans, mayor of Cape Town, started this tradition on the 14th of May, 1918, after hearing about the gassing death of his son, Reginald Hans. This was at the advice of Councillor Robert Rutherford Bryden. The initial trial observance was scheduled to last for three minutes. Subsequently, the mayor deemed it excessively lengthy and issued a notice in the Cape Argus requesting a reduction from three to two minutes. King George V asked everyone in the British Empire to stop what they were doing for two minutes on the hour of the armistice, which stamped the end of the four years of global carnage and marked the victory of right and freedom. This year, we are asking the nation to pause, breathe, and reflect on the service and sacrifices the armed forces make on our behalf, the Royal British Legion states. Fundamentally, the two-minute silence serves as a moment of gratitude for those who survived and a potent symbol of remembrance and reverence for those who served and sacrificed themselves in times of war. Armistice Day is observed by several countries around the world. France, Belgium, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Serbia, Romania, Bulgaria. Our Mr's Day imparts valuable lessons to us, recognizing that individuals who have served and given their lives for their country have made sacrifices to uphold our freedom and peace. It is important to recognize and pay tribute to them. The importance of cooperating as a world community 
to avert disputes and advance international understanding. The importance of drawing lessons from the past to prevent future conflicts and build a more peaceful and purposeful future. The significance of setting aside time from our hectic schedules to contemplate the selfless acts performed by others and to convey our appreciation for their commitment and service. Armistice Day is a time to remember that wars affect more than just the people who fought in them. They also affect their families and communities, which makes it even more important to heal and make peace. Thank you. This is the Sandeep Show.